What's up, ZBrushers? Welcome back to Z Fever. My name is Ricky, and today we're going to be talking about how to apply tattoos to any character, object, whatever it is that you're uh, making, right? So I had a question that came up through the uh, Z Fever group on Facebook. Um, one of the why am I talking like William Shatner? Um, <laughs> One of the group members was asking uh, how how to go about applying some tattoos to a character that they had. So um, I figured I'd go through and just uh, give give you a little rundown about how I would go about doing this. Uh, there are a couple of different ways um, that you can do this. Uh, basically, my preference is to use an image that I've created in another program, like say, uh, well, not this image, but uh, let's say in Photoshop. So I haven't created this. This is something that I found online. I don't know who the artist's name is, but whoever you are, great work. You're awesome. I'm not ripping you off, bro. But uh, so uh, let's see. So I've I gathered this off of uh, Google. I was just like, okay, uh, maybe maybe Slave Leia decided that she's got this thing. You know, she loves Chewbacca, um, so she just wanted to commemorate his existence on her arm. So <laughs> let me um, let me turn off this staff here so we can see all right so if I was going to be applying a a texture right uh, there are a couple of different ways I can apply it uh, through a, a mask right and just paint it right on or I can use um, spotlight or a num number of other things so what we're going to do is we're going to use a combination of spotlight and layers right and um, I'll show you the other ways that you can do this first. So if I was going to do a mask, right? So let me get on here. If I was going to do a mask and then do some painting. What I could do is, is simply hold uh, control and I could uh, find a mask that I like. So let's say um, she really likes dots. But I want to be able to apply this as, say, a square or a drag wreck. And the reason why is because I want that design to be there. Now, when you're doing this, you need to make sure that the topology that you have is enough to sustain the design. Because if it's not, it's just going to fall apart and it's going to look gross, right? So you can see right here, I have this, this uh, mask drawn out. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to... In well, it just went away. I'm just going to invert the mask, right? And what I can do at this point is I can come over with, say, my standard brush. I can turn off Z Add. And I can just turn on RGB. And then I can apply color. Let's say she's just some sort of red, orange thing. What I can do at this point is I can simply do a paint over, right? And then clear my mask, and there you go. She's got uh, some kind of tattoo thing, right? But uh, the one reason that I won't go this way is because once I've done this, it's, it's kind of destructive, right? Once I've applied this, it's there. And uh, I don't want that to be the case. So I'm just going to get rid of that, clear my mask, and we're going to go another route. So what I want to do is I want to come over to geometry, actually layers, and I'm going to create a new layer, right? So I'm just going to say new, and you'll see now I have this layer that's on, all right? And the reason I want to do this is because I want to have control over what it is that I'm doing. Um, I don't want whatever I apply to be the final thing, right? It's kind of like working in Photoshop. So I'm going to make sure that this record is on and uh, what I'm doing now is I'm working on a layer right and uh, what we'll do is we're just going to use that image that we had uh, to to create what we need so what I'm going to do with this is basically I'm just going to click on this this image and I'm going to turn on I'm going to say add to spotlight. And what's going to happen is it's going to drop it down in here and you're going to see um, 
light box come up. Spotlight, light box. So confusing. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image and I'm just going to drop it over uh, the area that I want it to be, right? And uh, it's basically just going to be casting straight through. Now, what I want to do is I want to turn up the opacity as much as possible. Uh, I want it to be 100%. Uh, the reason why is because we can tr control this with our layer here in a minute, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit Z, and it's going to make the rest of that disappear. But what I want to have happen is uh, with my standard brush, let me go to my stroke palette and uh, turn off lazy mouse because it's doing me no benefit right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to paint over, right? Let's make sure I get everything, right? And then as I turn the model, you'll see that that image has now been stamped on as as a, a tattoo, right? So now to make this other image go away, I'm just going to hit Shift Z, or not not Control Z. Shift Z. There we go. And um, our image that we used to cast from is now gone. Now you'll see once I get down here into the finer details, you'll see that uh, there's there's a little bit of a breakdown, right? Not all of this information managed to get through. So it's a little, little jagged, right? But uh, that just depends on the fidelity of the image that you're working with. The, the best way to go about this would be to probably apply it to your textures, um, unless you're just working super high um, on, in poly count. And uh, so what you can do with this at this point is you can take this and you can go over to your, to your layers panel, right? And I can control how much of this is going to show through, right? So you can see as I drag the slider around, it'll allow me to fade it, right? And this goes for any change that I make, right? So if I if I did any sculptural changes, uh, you'll see that that uh, some of it goes away. So if I if I wanted to, I could say, all right, well, what if I wanted to make this like? Um, what if I wanted to take this and then say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bake this, right? Actually, no. I'm going to create a new layer, right? And on this layer that I'm working on, I want to turn around and I want to say, all right, I'm going to grab from this um, this area here, and I want to, I'm gonna try to make this look kind of like. Uh, a decal tattoo like one of those one of those rub on tattoos right so I'm gonna grab let's say something with some noise okay and um, I'm just gonna paint over this area I'm gonna do a color spray but I want to do a want to make sure that the color has no variance to it so let's see what happens whenever I do that I'm going to change the focal shift. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this slider, right? And you'll see that as as I go through, right, it's going to change the amount that that effect had on it, right? So I can I can say okay, it's, it's a little bit faded because she's had it applied for like three weeks and then if I want to come back through I could say alright I'm gonna add another layer and uh, let's see I want to try using a different alpha right so let's just uh, I'm, I might just do away with alphas period but uh, let's let's make a little bit more of a change here right something a little more drastic Okay, and so now I can turn back around 
and I can say all right um, I can control the amount that this this change has gone through right so you you could see very quickly you can go through and you can build up texture and you can build up layers and on, on top of that we're just playing with color right now uh, but if we wanted to go through and make some actual topological changes to the model you can see how quickly these things can uh, add up so once I'm done with all this then I can turn around and go bake all and what that's going to do is it's going to make all those changes apply permanently to the model that we have now right and so if I wanted to go back and do further editing I would have to go back and um, create other layers if I didn't want to create something destructive to this right so there are multiple ways of doing this um, you can do this straight through Photoshop if you just wanted to work specifically on your on your UVs um, through your maps like that uh, or you can do it this way um, th there's really no right or wrong the, the only right or wrong is what works best for you right um, and I hope that what works best for you is what is most efficient okay so uh, I hope that that answers the question that came through about how to uh, apply tattoos we now got a uh, gangster slave Leah um, <laughs> with her uh, prison tat that she got at Jabba's palace but uh, you know if you have any other questions about how to do this uh, feel free to ask. I'd love to uh, help people out with with these sorts of problems. Um, if you're new, uh, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe. Head over to the Z Fever group on Facebook. We'd love to have you. We got a lot of resources and a lot of really awesome people that are in there. Um, if you're returning, thanks again for watching. All together, guys. Happy Z brushing. Have a great weekend. Take care.